Welcome to the SOLIDWORKS beginner tutorial. Today we talk about extruded boss and extruded cut to create some basic models in SOLIDWORKS. So first of all, we start from zero just in one second. Welcome back. So like I told, we start from zero. So let's pick a new part and directly go into an empty space. Very important, many people recommend directly to start with the extruded boss and then go into the isometric view and select one plane. This is not my preferred way. I usually directly go with the planes in here and first start with a sketch because the sketch is the baseline for the extruded boss. So I select the upper plane, make a right click and say sketch. So we directly have the right orientation. We see the sketch is open from the sign up here. So the first what we do is we select a rectangle from center and I do it out of the center to show you what it means to work with relations because when I just do it somewhere I can still move it around that's not what we want to have in SOLIDWORKS we want to have the full control and defini definition so I stick it to the center then at least the center point is defined still the outer line is not yet so we go with the smart dimension and we add some dimensions to this basic plane. And what I also do is I directly add a shape in the middle with the half of the size. So I take 100 and 50 in the height because SOLIDWORKS usually knows what you want to extrude when you have a body like that or you can select it in another way. So sketch is ready. When I have the sketch selected and I say extruded boss, SOLIDWORKS will try to interpret what you want to extrude. So we can access here to the height, but as you see on the left side, it's changing the number. So like that, we can also control it on the left side, more detailed with a number. By default, SOLIDWORKS goes with blind, which means it just goes a specific amount in one direction. We can turn around the direction that it goes down below the ground and the other elements we will take a look later on. So what we also have access to is the direction 2. We can go in two sides with different values or we can activate the SYN feature which is giving walls to the body or we can add a cap at the bottom of this body and we can also select the contours so when we have a sketch then we can delete the sketch and for example say we want to only extrude this body i remove the same feature and then it just takes the inner body as an example so this is possible to do from here but like i mentioned the easiest way is to draw what you want to extrude select the sketch extrude select the height or control the height and then activate like that so this is the first step now when we have our first body we can directly start or continue on this body because we have in this case planes which, which we can use to draw further sketches. So let's try it here for example. We can make right click on this plane and we can select sketch then it will create a sketch on this plane. Don't mix it up with the edit sketch because this will go back into the sketch from the 3D body. So right click, sketch, and we are ready to draw something. So in this case, I want to go with an outer line, very controlled from this one. So again, right click, normal to, 
I can select this body and for example say offset it will take the outer line and I can say reverse let's take 30 30 is too much <clears throat> and now we have always access to the distance through this value here so we can also change it to 15 for example and it will always take 15 from the outer line so we can accept this have the sketch on the top and we can continue with further elements so this time we take the extruded cut i forgot to select sketch i can select it here or i can cancel it and select the sketch and go into the extruded cut that it directly knows what to take so in this case it takes the value from before so it would just cut everything through <clears throat> this we don't want in this case we just want to go to a specific distance from this body because the point is when i cut it completely through and i change the height by clicking on the body from the initial extrusion I can change it to 50 and it will not anymore cut through. So that's why we want to have more control with a relation to something else. So let's go back into the feature and select instead of blind that we want to go offset from a surface or if we always want to cut completely through, we can say through all. <clears throat> or we can select up to surface that we can say always up to the surface always cut everything through but in this case offset from surface is a good way to go because we always have the same distance from the lower surface and in this case i want to go with 30 and as you see it goes 30 with the distance from the bottom so even when i change here to 70 now it will keep the distance from the bottom so like that we can control already quite a lot now what we can do is we can also add some more extruded cut <coughs> or extruded boss so let's pick this one for example we can select it as a plane to draw a sketch and in this case i want to have a circle and let's say the circle should always be in the middle of exactly this plane for this i really like to use help lines which is the center line we can go in here hover over over this line as soon as we do this we get the center line of this line we can do the same over here hover over it go to the center line and like that we already define that it stays in the center here and what we can do now is we can take the circle the center point with control click on the line and say make midpoint and now it will always stay on this line in the midpoint and the line will always stay in the middle of this line <clears throat> so the last what we define is the diameter of the circle let's say 15 close it and what i meant is first we extrude it <clears throat> let's go with this one and now we can for example say always go to this uh, to this plane over here so we can say up to surface and then it will will go over there another option is up to vertex where we can select a point like this one that it, then it will always go to this point or we can again use the up to next 
which goes just to the next plane, which he finds. And we go in this case up to the surface, we select the surface, and then we have it here. So the point is, this here is fully defined in the middle, so it doesn't matter what I change with this extrusion down here. For example, when I make this offset to 20, it will lower it down and keep it in the middle of this plane. So we always have a relation to a full axis to this one. What we can also is we can add a chamber at the top here. So uh, a fillet. So let's pick the fillet. We can add it here on the outer line. Or we can with delete remove them and we can pick the plane up here, reduce it to five that has enough space, and like that, control multiple elements. And when we go on this sketch with a new sketch, then we can also make some extrusions on top. So again, right click normal to and for example we can add in here one block we can again define it with dimensions that we have always the full control of everything and now we can add extrude boss and here for example when it should always go to this point we can use the vertex, select the point and make the extrusion. So now it's actually related to the fillet. So when we change this roundness to a radial of 10, this will not work because the size of the wall is not big enough so continue ignore we have an error message this doesn't matter we just reduce it to two for example and it will take up the body and what we also want to do now we go into it remove the plane and just add it in the inner side because then we can see a bit better the relation to it. So click on the feature and now we can add 10 and you see it's moving up and down always according to this element. So like that, we can work with the relations, we can work with extrusions and it's actually quite a lot possible when we work just with these two features. So basically that's all how you can start with the extruded cut and the extruded boss. Basically you can model tables, beds, whatever you want. You are quite flexible with these two. But for sure in the next tutorials we talk about the revolve the sweep boss, the lofted boss, and much more in SOLIDWORKS. So thanks, no, thanks a lot for listening. Um, see you in the next tutorial and bye.